Hey guys, it's Ashley the Mogul and I am back with a foundation tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna skip all the jibber jabber and all the, you know, small talk and I'm just gonna get straight into it. So lately I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin and my foundation, basically. So basically what I've been doing is I've switched over to using the Black Opal foundations on myself because I use them in my kit for my clients. And for myself, I was going back and forth between a lot of different foundations. So I was like, let me just, you know, use the black opal and just, we just gonna find my shape. I always do this. I'm gonna stop talking. If you wanna buy the products, click the links in the description. If you wanna subscribe to my channel, you can click the subscribe button. If you wanna follow me on the gram and everything else, check the description. First, I like to start off by wiping my face. And as everyone else, I like to use the Neutrogena Fragrance Free Makeup Wipes. And I like to just wipe around underneath my eyes, underneath my wing, just so I can pick up all of that extra product. And of course, I gotta do it one time for the snap. Using my Maybelline Master Prime Primer, I'm going to use the Blur and Smooth version of this primer. They do have about three different ones. This one I like to use on my everyday face, unless I'm wearing heavy, heavy makeup, then I would switch to a different primer. This is the Nutmeg Cream Stick, and I like to apply this on the inside of my face, just so that it's not too dark, but it still brightens, but it's not as bright as my concealer. Coming in with my other two shades, first I'm going in with Karab, and that is going to go on the outer perimeter of everywhere I put the lighter shade. To apply my contour color, which is going to be Suede Mocha, I like to spray my brush first because the foundation stick is down to its last little bit, baby. So I like to use a concealer brush by Wet n Wild, spray it with my setting spray or my Rose Rain, and then apply it to my contour areas. Now to blend all of this together, I like to use my favorite brush for cream contouring. I don't know the exact name of it, but I did get it in a BH Cosmetics brush set from this store called Riley Rose. Now if I do find the brush set or the brush, I will put the link in the description. Now I like to use three shades because at Face Cafe we were taught to do a three shade match when we do our makeup. Now I like to use the three shades because I really don't like to have a red face and then I don't like to have a yellow one either. So for my inner color which was the nutmeg, that is a yellow base foundation. Now suede mocha is very very red which is why I like to use it for a contour. And carob is red but it's not as red as the suede mocha nor as dark. So I like to use all three shades and blend them together to get the perfect finish. And whenever you guys see me look down and, you know, my brush disappears like that, it's me wiping off my foundation brush. It's very, very important to make sure that you're getting off all that excess product off of your beauty blenders, foundation brushes, eyeshadow brushes, and all things of that sort. Now applying my concealer under my eyes, I like to use Nutmeg on the outside and Truly Topaz on the inside right up underneath my eyes so that I'm not creating a big, bright triangle but I'm making sure that the colors ombre and blend out. Now I'm taking another brush from the BH Cosmetics brush set. I promise I'm gonna find this set for y'all and put it in the description because I love this brush set and I keep it in my personal makeup bag at all times. Making sure I'm getting up underneath my eyes in between all of my creases and blending this concealer out all the way into my foundation. Then I'm going to take my foundation brush and blend on the perimeter of that concealer so that it blends into my foundation and it doesn't leave any harsh marks. Here I wanted to make sure that you guys saw the difference between a full face of makeup with foundation and no concealer with concealer. So I did take a picture with the flash. And here on the left hand side, I do have concealer under my eyes and on the right there is none. See, and this is why girls are never ready on time because this is all we be doing. And to contour, I like to use a liquid foundation because it is so much easier to blend with a small stippling brush that is also in the same BH Cosmetics brush set. Now I like to do swiping motions and a little bit of circular motions 
just so that I can be in control of where my product is going because that's how a lot of contours kind of end up looking dirty or just a bit you know too much so baby steps small motions And to sharpen my contour, I'm going back into my full body coverage concealer in Nutmeg and I am cutting that contour, baby, because I want it to be nice and sharp. Because I have short hair, I like for my face to be very structured. If I had a wig on or, you know, longer hair, I usually soften my contour up a little bit. To set that under eye concealer, I'm going to be using my Ben Nye powder in the shade Topaz. And for my nose highlight, I'll be using Truly Topaz Full Body Coverage Concealer. And now I'm just setting all the areas of my face that I didn't set and just going over my face with a light powder just to make sure that I don't have any sticky areas when I do my contour powder. Now for my contour powder, I am using a black opal face powder. However, I am unsure of the shade. Sorry about that, guys. My highlighter I am going to be using one of my highlighters from my cosmetic line which is available at ashleythemogul.com first I'm going to be using Egyptian clay And for my lip, I did use my usual Nika K coffee eyeliner for my lip liner. And then I went in with a liquid lipstick from the Face Cafe Cosmetics line. That can also be found on AshleyTheMogul.com as well as at any Face Cafe store.
Now, I do like to have the appearance of big, large, luscious lips. So I do overdraw my lips. And when I say overdraw, that just means that I like to take my lipstick and my liner up above where my original lip line is. All my short hair girls out there will understand this part right here. We got to get that foundation up out of our hairline, baby, because that's what makes our hairline look so crisp. Now it's time for my favorite parts. If y'all follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, anywhere, y'all know I love some long 25 millimeters. These are the Face Cafe Franchise 25 millimeter mink eyelashes from the Fury Collection in the style Rage. My favorite. I can't be the only one that feels myself after I do a full face of makeup. I know I'm not. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you guys loved. And I hope I answered all the questions that you guys had. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on the gram. Bye.